Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Yunus Shafiri is here and in this video you are going to see the activity result API which is a replacement for the previous way on how to use the start activity for result and overriding the on activity result. Let's get started. So here I'm having an Android Studio project. It contains two activity. We will see that in a moment. And here is the main documentation if you want to get back to. So this documentation shows how you get a result from another activity. So basically they talk that previous way we were using start activity for result and then overriding activity result. So the previous way on how to get a result from other activities, like you create an intent, set it and started using this start activity for result. Then you have to override this on activity result and do your logic there in order to extract your value. So that was the previous way. Now this way is used like registering for callbacks. It's an efficient way and also concise. So basically you will have this method and you will pass this start activity for result thing and you will get your result here directly like for intent or URI or if you are going to create our custom contract you will get your object directly here we will see that in a moment so this is more concise right we will see that we will see how we can launch it and so on so this is documentation if you want to refer to it so let's go back to Android Studio so here I'm having a main activity which contains a button right I'm using just an XML for the sake of this demonstration and there is a second activity in which there is also a button it contains an edit text so we can get back some results. Let's get started. So first of all, basically I will have to do some boilerplate code for flashing this one, binding, go button, set on click listener, and here we would start. So the previous way we would do like start activity for result, this one, and as you can see, it is deprecated. Consider using this, one. exactly this one. So we want to be using this one. So the first thing you should define this notion, right? So you have to create it as global variable here. It will be above. And let's call it a launcher. And here we do register activity for result. This one. And here we would give it an activity result contract. There is a predefined activity result contract. If you go here to activity result contract and click on here, you will see many things like request and permission, start activity result, get content, I don't know, open document, take picture, as you can see, take a video. These are predefined contract. We'll be creating our own. Like if you go here to the start activity for result, click on it, you will see it implemented like the following. We'll try to implement the same thing using this activity result contract. So here, I will be using start activity for result because I want to launch an activity and get a result from there. It's an object like the following. And you need also to provide a callback. So we we'll do something like following. And basically you can extract that lambda out. And now here you will get the activity result. Basically you will get the same thing if you do the it. You get the same thing like the previous one, a result code and the data. The data is a form of intent, so you can extract that thing. So basically here, kind of the same as on activity result, like the method one, so you can use it. So here I will check the result code. I will check if it is like good value or not. Let me push it here. If this one is like the activity dot result code okay then print i would just print it here like the data and get some extra like string extra let's call it all we'll make sure to set it all right so this will print it here now the way to use it like you grab this launcher here and you will do launch something here you will have to provide the intent in order to launch the activity you want to launch so basically you can create an intent here, like from this context, and also it's called the second activity, like always, flash and jump. That will guarantee to launch an activity and wait for its result. And when you get back the result, you will see it here. Now, let's go back to the second activity. Here, you will have to set, you will have basically to check the binding for the back button. And when we do set on click listener, like this one, here we will check the content of the edit text, like I don't know if I give it an ID or not. Exactly, some ID. So after getting the text from the edit text, I will simply just use the previous one, like set the result. Like this one, we set the result. So the activity will know that this is an activity for result, this thing. And we will finish that activity. Now here I will provide like activity result, okay? This one, you can use any code here as long as you can check it here. You can use 100, any, any number. I'm going to use this one and I will send the result via an intent. Like I will do it like following and I will apply like some put extra. I will put hola as we said here. We should do it like hola and the text we are sent like this. So this, it, this should work. Let me just let's look at here. 
exactly let's run the app so as you can see there is this go to result you go here it will launch another activity so here let's write hola from the other activity or the other world hello from the other world and if you do go back here you will see it is saying hello from the other world and the only place we are printing it is this one. so this one is working so this is like pretty and concise code in order to extract things so basically you can extract this code here into separate functions so you can handle it separately like handle the result for lash camera handle the result for lash the document or something else and there is another interesting way of doing this kind of contract like if the setup process is a little bit difficult and also the result process is a little bit difficult so the setup i mean by the setup this one and the result like the result of checking this one in order to get your object so basically you can do the following let's try to create an example i will simply create like my class it is my class let's call it second activity result launcher something like that and this should extend from activity result contract this one and this required an input and an output the input what you are putting into the intent because sometimes if you want to launch an activity like an activity for result you have to do some basic setup like giving it some values or some thing this is the input and the output is the result right so if it is a string if it is in our case string if it is a custom object for example so it's customizable right so here for the input let's say for the input i'm going to give it an input as string you can give it an uh, object the input will be a string and the output will be an int in my case just simple you can use any objects here right and yeah you should do something like following and implement two methods this one so the create intent part in which you will have to create the intent and put your input here you can delete this one you can guarantee that this string is not nullable and here you have to create the intent yourself like previous way creating the intent the intent will be from this context here is the context and you will have to pass the activity you are going to like in our example the second activity this one and i want to pass also this input so i have to like you can create it and do put extra or you can put extra directly here let's call it i don't example input and the input will be that input okay so this will create an entity and it will launch it so it mimic this one it mimic this thing and the second thing here is how to get your result so the result here can be as you like right i'm returning and you can for example return let's try this one return boolean so what we are talking about here this part result is this code so you can simplify the logic of this one and this one into separate class so you are delegating this responsibility to another class let me go back here and you can basically name it second activity result flash or second activity result contract it doesn't matter or let me just call it this one so here is the result code like it is okay let me check i will check the intent for Hola, like the following. If it is empty, I will return just if it is empty or not. Okay. And if we don't have this one, we'll basically returning false. And let me check here. False also. So this one will return true if it is empty. Okay. We return true if it is empty. And it will return false if it is not empty. Or if this one is not, for example, or the entity and so on. So that way you can guarantee. So the way how you can use this one, this second activity result, you will go here in place of this one. You do something like the following. You do it like that. And here you will get directly your Boolean, the Boolean result we are talking about. So basically you can print then this. The result is it. Okay, so it is the Boolean. It is this one. And here in order to launch it, you have to launch it with what? With your string parameter. So let me check because we did the string parameter here. As I said, you can pass any object like your custom object. And if the result also, you can give any result. If like if you have a sealed class with many cases, you can pass that also. And basically here you can do here, you can do like simple when state. So in the input, I will just print something here. Hello from the first. And let's go back to the activity here. So this one, when it is created, you can get the intent here and you can check string extra for something. As we said, the input is called input. So we will print it just for the sake for demonstration, right? Because in real circumstances, you will use that input in order to do something for the second activity. So we will print that here. Let me just do 
something here. And now we do basically the same thing we're setting back the result. Logic for handling the result will be here. It is an intermediate step. It will check the input and convert it to the Boolean and the Boolean will be used here and printed here. Let me check, it will be printed here. That's all, let's run it. And let's do our lockout. Let me just delete it. Now, if you do the go to the result, you will see the input passed is hello from the first, okay? Because we are passing this one, hello from the first. And if you go here to the second activity, you will say the input passed is this one. So we are passing our input. And if I wrote something, let me do that, voila. So it is not empty, so it will print false. If I do go back, it will see the result is false. I can go back again, go back immediately, it will say true because it is empty. So that way you can create and use the activity result contract API. So as a reminder, as I said previously, you can use this one in order to launch predefined contract. As I said, go here to the activity contract and you'll see a myriad of things, or you can create your custom one directly here by implementing this abstract class, by extending this abstract class and implementing this method to create intent and pass the result. The logic can be here to pass the input and here to grab the result. And you can basically check the result here in the callback, this one, and you can launch it like the following from the input type. So if you if you want to check this one, start activity for result, if you go here, you will see it is implementing create intent. As you can see, it is passing just the intent we have created because it is an intent, the input is intent, and the result is an activity result. So they are creating this activity result object with which it contains a result code and an intent data. So this is it for this video. I hope you understand how you can use the activity result API in order to create your custom contract and use predefined contract, especially for starting activity for result or for example, requesting a permission. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.